Hi guys, I'm Yumna from Feel Good Foodie and today I'm making my favorite Arabic salad. It's fatouche salad that's made with tons of vegetables and a zesty vinaigrette that makes it all come together. And we can't forget the fried pita bread that goes on top for a nice added crunch. So in Arabic, the word fatouche comes from the word fatte and that literally means crumbs. Like, so it basically means a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of everything kind of come together. So for that reason, there's really no rules when it comes to fatouche. So you can really use any kind of greens you want. You can leave out the tomatoes. You can add pomegranate seeds if you wanted to, different vegetables that are in season. There's really no rules when it comes to the salad. So make it your own, you know, improvise and have fun with it. So to start, I'm going to start cutting off some lettuce. I have in here some romaine lettuce. This is about a little less than a head of lettuce. Next, I have one tomato. Use nice big chunks. And I'll place those tomatoes right in the salad bowl. I'll place that right in there. It's a big tomato. All right, third, I'm gonna add some Persian cucumbers to it. I like using these cucumbers versus the English cucumbers because they're smaller, so that you'll find that there's more taste to them as opposed to the bigger English cucumbers. They have more of a watery taste. This has a lot more flavor and it's really wonderful in the salad. And then to cut them, I like cutting them together. And I'll place all those cucumbers right in the salad bowl. Next, radishes are very typical in a fatouche salad. It has a nice peppery taste to it. These radishes were on the bigger side, so I will only use three of them in this recipe today. Next, I'm gonna cut up some green peppers. So I have about half a green pepper here, kind of what's left over from another recipe. And with all of these, there's really no measurements. You can kind of do as much or as little as you like. Okay, next is the green onions. I'm gonna use about two green onions for this. And I'll use the entire thing because the green part is a little bit less fragrant than the white part and the white part has more of a bite to it. So I'll go ahead and chop this up. So we'll take the green onions and also place it here. We're getting a nice full bowl of ingredients now. Finally, I have some chopped parsley here and now it's time to make the dressing. I have in here about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And to that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. This is how much olive oil we go through <laughs> in a month at my house. No, seriously, I, probably not a month, but this is some good olive oil that's extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. And that's what you wanna use. You wanna use some good, strong olive oil, not the cooking kind. You want something that's cold pressed that's gonna give this a lot of flavor. So I'll add about three tablespoons in here. Next, I have two cloves of garlic that's already been minced, and I'll go ahead and add that to the dressing. Next, I'm gonna add some sumet and some dried mint. You can also use fresh mint if you'd like. And now I'll add some pomegranate molasses. And if you don't have this and if you can't find it, you can completely leave it out or you can use balsamic vinegar that's been reduced down to become like syrupy. So if you can see the pomegranate molasses, it's pretty syrupy and it just adds a nice tanginess to this dressing. And then we'll just season it with some salt and pepper. We're gonna give all that a stir. So all the flavors are incorporated now and it's looking really good. So we'll just go ahead and drizzle it over. You can see the chunks of garlic in there. That's what's gonna make this salad taste really good. Give it all a good toss. And serve. This is a wonderful side salad. And if you wanna make it a full meal, you can add some chicken on top of it. You can add any other kind of protein. It's basically, you know, an appetizer in all of our meals. And the final step is just to add the fried pita right on top. And that's it. It's a very healthy, flavor-packed salad that's full of tons of vegetables, lots of nutrition, and the kind of salad that you're really gonna feel good about eating any time of the year. I hope you tried this recipe and I hope you love it.